I just got back from Trader Joe's and I figured I would share with you guys what I picked up. My total was around 224. That's including tax, but I will be popping up the prices if you guys are new. I like to share with you guys what each individual item costs, so those prices will be popped up on the screen as I'm sharing each item. So I got a couple of requests. Uh, I don't think just here. I get a lot of messages over on Instagram, so I always forget like was it a comment or was it a message? But several of you guys wanted me to go to Trader Joe's. I don't think I have been since the last time that I went with my friend Kira over at Fifty Shades of Mom um, around the holiday season, like early December maybe. So yeah, it's it's been a couple months. So I found some goodies, some stuff that my kids are gonna be very excited about. So I can't wait to share with you guys what I picked up. Okay, I was able to put it all on the counter and I do not go to Trader Joe's for like normal groceries. If there's something that I know I'm out of or that I want to have on hand, I will pick it up. But I go for like the extra stuff or the fun stuff for things that we know that you know are tried or true and that we love. Most of the time I'm looking for items that I don't necessarily get from other stores. So that's mainly what my Trader Joe hauls consist of. So we'll just start over here. <laughs> I just stick my flowers <laughs> up here, but I did go ahead. I know I just picked some flowers up from Sam's. Actually, it's been, this is probably the next video you guys are seeing just because of timing, but I went to Sam's a week ago. <laughs> so you guys saw that almost a week after we went. Um, so I did pick up some flowers. Those flowers are still thriving in my dining room, but I love Trader Joe's flowers. I think they're beautiful. So I did go ahead and pick up another bouquet of flowers and I'm just going to put those in a new vase in the kitchen. So I've got some flowers in my dining room and flowers in my kitchen. Okay, so that was like the, the one non-food item. Coming over here, my kids love these. Um, I made them... I think it was around Thanksgiving time last year or maybe even the year before when we got together with Kira and her family and had like our Friendsgiving and all the kids just ate them up. So every time I go to Trader Joe's, if they have these, I pick them up. There's only 12 in one and they are really, really small. So I do like to pick two boxes up, but they are the Parmesan pastry puffs. So there's little beef hot dogs in here wrapped in a pastry puff and then sprinkled with Parmesan cheese and they are really good. The kids love them. Also, kids love the hash browns, so I did pick up some hash browns. They like to just heat this up in the morning. Sometimes they'll just have this, and sometimes they like me to make some eggs to have or to um, serve with this. And what I do sometimes is I'll make like an over easy egg, sprinkle a little bit of cheese, and then a little squirt of ketchup, and it is super yummy. <laughs> and it's like a little hash brown stack, but yum yum. This is the cheese that all the kids like when we have sandwiches, the Colby Jack. So I did go ahead and pick some more of that up because we are out. All right, this is kind of like my, not necessarily guilty, guilty pleasure. There's nothing wrong with it, but I love pasta in like a cheese sauce. And it's just something that I like to have sometimes for lunch. So I did go ahead and pick up two different kinds. This one, the gnocchi with the gorgonzola cheese is my favorite. I love it. So I got one of these bags. It'll just be a quick lunch for me one day. And then I feel like I've picked this up before, but I couldn't remember. So I did go ahead and get it. It's the cheese filled. I'm not even gonna try that try to say that, but it is a different kind of pasta noodle um, with pink sauce and it's filled with cheeses. It looks like little itty bitty baggies. So I, I went ahead and got that just because I know I like that, that kind of thing. And then speaking of cheese, the unexpected cheddar is Mark's favorite cheese. He just loves the flavor of it. And these two items we've gotten before. So I got two packages of the unexpected, unexpected cheddar chicken sausage. I like to cut this up and put it on a sheet pan meal. It's really, really good. I don't think I've ever made it any other way. Like we haven't had it with like mashed potatoes, just like a bratwurst style thing, sausage, mashed potatoes, whatever. Um, and I haven't made this in a bun either, but on a sheet pan, it's super, super yummy. The flavors are fantastic. So it's fully cooked chicken sausage, and then it has the unexpected cheddar cheese, caramelized onions, and red peppers in it. And like I said, the flavor is really, really good. So I got two packages of those, one block of the unexpected cheddar cheese. Mark just likes to cut this up and snack on it. So he's definitely gonna be excited to see that for this weekend. And then I've never seen the cheddar cheese spread before. So I went ahead and got this up, the unexpected cheddar cheese spread. 
and I was like looking at the date because I wanted to make sure that it would last. So it's good until May and Kira had a great idea. I picked up, well you guys will see it over here. I picked up a bread mix for St. Patrick's Day and she was like, oh, dip the bread in this. Cause I was like, hmm, what, what, what should I do with this? So many possibilities. So I'm holding on to this for St. Patrick's Day and it'll be great to just heat up a little bit and have with our beer bread. Okay, one thing that was written on the pantry door is we are completely out of pickles. Now on the pantry board, board it said to get the, and, and this is Pearl's handwriting because Pearl loves the pickles. <laughs> but she's like, I need the gherkins and I want the big pickles. I can't remember where we were. We just went somewhere. Oh, Natural Bridge Caverns. I, be, I believe that's where we, where we went. No, it must have been somewhere else. I don't remember where we were. We went somewhere and Pearl got a big pickle and <laughs> she loved it. So next time I go to Sam's Club, maybe like they have that big jar, I'll get that. That'll be really funny. I think the kids will enjoy that. Well, not all of them, but Pearl for sure. So I did go ahead and get this. This is like a mix. Not quite a baby gherkin, but not a big pickle either. It's just the Trader Joe's kosher dill pickles, but this is something that we have to have on hand because we enjoy having them. Okay, this is something I actually used to pick up quite frequently because Paige loved it. Paige is no, no longer home or you know living here, but I thought this would be great as like a quick meal option. I got a couple things that I thought would just be a quick, easy throw together and that's our dinner. Um, but I enjoyed these too when I used to pick them up. There's eight pieces in here and I wasn't quite sure if that would be enough for a family of five. I cannot remember because it's been so long how big they are. So I did go ahead and get two boxes. That's the only thing about Trader Joe's I feel like if you have a larger family, like more than, you know, three plus people, then you have to pick up two boxes of things. <laughs> so it can get a little pricey. It can get a little bit pricey when you're shopping, um, you know, for family sizes. So I got two boxes of the vegetable bird's nest. I thought those would be great. These are Mark's favorite. So of course, every time I go, I have to pick them up. I got two bags because we're actually going on a little fishing trip over a weekend in March. So I picked up just a couple things that I'm gonna tuck away for that, a couple little snacks. So the sweet and spicy pecans, great for salads or snacking. He just snacks on them. This is something I picked up that I thought the kids would enjoy. They're really enjoying bagels in the morning here lately and they're still on a hot chocolate kick from the, well, it's still technically winter, but from the like Christmas time. So this is hot cocoa inspired cream cheese spread. What? That sounds good. <laughs> so I think they'll, you know, at least enjoy trying this. Hopefully it's good, but I think they'll enjoy seeing that and giving it a try on some bagels in the morning. I picked up a loaf of bread. I know we're low, so I went ahead and got that. Pearl really loves, I mean, she has been using bagels, but she also likes to use toast to spread some avocado on. So I got another loaf of bread just to keep in the fridge. This is something, like I said, I picked up a couple things just for like a quick dinner option. And normally I get their mandarin orange chicken, but the last couple times the kids haven't been fans. I'll get the mandarin orange chicken and then just the vegetable fried rice. So this time I was like, no mandarin orange chicken, but I opted for the chicken fried rice. So again, two packages because one just isn't enough for all five of us. So I got two packages of the chicken fried rice. It says stir fried rice, vegetables, seasoned dark chicken meat, and eggs. Their um, rice kits are really, really yummy. This was something new that I, I've never seen before. I've never picked it up. And I thought the kids, like I mentioned, like it's just the, the little things. The kids get a kick out of trying new things. And these are sliced Korean rice cakes. All it is, is rice and water. So it's just rice. It's just like cooked, mushed down into these little cakes and you can you know dip it in soy sauce. I don't know, put it with our chicken fried rice. I, I don't know, but I went ahead and picked those up. I thought those would be neat and the kids would get, um, the kids would enjoy trying something new. All right, I got a package of the bow tie noodles. I saw them. I don't have any plans for them. Like I said, Trader Joe's is kind of, I go in, and I, I make plans while I'm there because it's always hit or miss what you're gonna find and the new products that they have. But I have a recipe that my mom used to make, or she still makes, that my mom makes um, normally around the summertime and it's a pasta salad with artichokes, black olives, tomatoes, this like um, German seasoning mix that goes over, you mix it with oil and you put it in it. And the main like pasta is bow tie. So I went ahead and picked that up because that sounded good. I saw the bow ties and I was like immediately thinking of that salad and I was like, ooh, that's gonna be good one day. So we've had like really warm days here in Texas. It's been pushing on 80. So I'm already getting all the summer like 
summer feels. So I went ahead and got that. I haven't picked up macadamia nuts in a long time. They are pretty pricey, but everyone loves them. So I just got one bag though. It's the macadamias dry roasted and salted. This is something that I'm just gonna tuck away and take with us on our little fishing trip. All right, something else, like I said, picking it up, it up in two because it says three servings per container and we're a family of five. So I went ahead and got two of this rice orzo pilaf mix. I thought that would be good as a side to, you know, pretty much any dinner one night. Got some onions. I always feel like on the weekends, Mark likes to cook breakfast and he always goes in the pantry and I only pick up the, a specific amount of onions that I need for dishes <laughs> each week or when I need them. And here lately he's like, oh, we don't have any onions. So <laughs> I got him a bag. I got a bag of onions, so we should be good. He can make whatever he wants this weekend. So we're good on that. This is something that I really enjoy. I cannot, this isn't my favorite one. I like, um, it's like a broccoli, broccoli and rice or something one, broccoli and brown rice. This was the only one they had though, but this is a quick, easy lunch also. Something quick and something just super simple that I can make during the week and it is the vegetable and soba noodle stir fry kit. And it's exact, I mean, it's just a stir fry kit. It's got everything in here. You throw it in the skillet, you heat it up and it takes minutes. So it's broccoli florets, bok choy, some cabbage, snow peas, green onion, and then it's got the noodles and a soy a ginger sauce and it's really yummy. I do prefer, they used to have three different kinds. Um, this one and the broccoli rice one were the two that I would pick up constantly, the broccoli one being my favorite, but this, this one's good too. This is something I don't think I've ever picked up from Trader Joe's, but I thought it would be a great little change up to like our spaghetti night, having some fried ravioli on the side. So I went ahead and picked up just one bag of the breaded fried ravioli. The kids love cheese sticks, like mozzarella sticks, and this is almost the same thing, right? It's just got a little pasta in there too. So went ahead and picked that up. I love quiche. It's one of my just like favorite things with a cup of coffee for like brunch, not quite breakfast, not quite lunch. So I did go ahead and get their quiche Lorraine. This is my favorite kind. I just love the ham and the cheese together. And this will just be something that I cook myself for breakfast. Okay, this was something new that I picked up that I also thought would go great with some kind of pasta night. We have some kind of spaghetti pasta dish once a week. This I thought would go great with one of those nights. Now there's only four in here. I only got one because I don't think two of my kids, <laughs> I'm gonna have to like, they're gonna split one. I don't think they're gonna enjoy it. Um, but I know Pearl and then Mark and myself will love this. And it is artichoke hearts baked with mozzarella and some different kinds of cheeses in here. It just, it sounded really good. Something I've never made before. So I thought it would be something new to introduce to the kids. Okay, I went ahead and picked up two different spaghetti sauces. Normally I get the Rayos and I do have two of those. Actually I only have one because we had spaghetti <laughs> the other night, but I've got one pasta sauce in my pantry. So I just went ahead and stocked up and I don't think, I think this is something else I've never picked up from Trader Joe's either. So I was like, oh, we're gonna give it a try. I got their regular tomato basil and then I got their Bolognese, which is tomato and beef pasta sauce. I think there was like a $2 difference too, which is kind of crazy to me just having some beef in there, but whatever, I wanted to try them out. So I got both of those, picked up their cottage cheese. Trader Joe's cottage cheese is my absolute favorite. I just love the small curd. So I went ahead and got just a little package of that for snacking on. We are out of the glaze. Love to have this when we're having like mozzarella and tomato, any kind of like caprese salad, like to put this over top. So went ahead and got that. Okay, a couple weeks ago, I don't remember exactly what we were having, but we had some kind of fish. And I went into the refrigerator and I was like, oh, you know what? The last time I went through the fridge, these were the two condiments that we don't use all the time. And I tossed them because they were like overly expired. So I knew that I needed to pick them up again. Just something that we like to have on hand. No, we don't use it all the time, but maybe I'll try to, I'll try to make sure that we have more fish. So tartar sauce, cocktail sauce, two of our favorites. I got both. This one is, it says made with fresh horseradish. So hmm, yum, but I've never picked these two up from Trader Joe's before either. We'll give those a try. Okay, this is something that I saw and I picked up with Pearl in mind. She loves boba. This is ice cream, black tea and boba. It's a coconut non-dairy ice cream. So I got that with her in mind. I think she'll enjoy it. Okay, we'll come down here. This is something I get because Bryce loves the pancake bread. So I got 
the Trader Joe's pancake bread, a twist on a buttermilk short stack baked into a sweet, moist loaf. All right, and then this was, so the tartar sauce and the cocktail sauce was like by their refrigerated section and then they had all kinds of fish in there. And I thought this was cute, fish nuggets. So it's not chicken nuggets, it's not fish, sti fish sticks, it's fish nuggets. So I did go ahead and pick that up. That'll be just a quick lunch one day. Okay, this was something that I was on the hunt for. Somebody sent me a message on Instagram with this pic, I think it was a picture, showing that they had this tomato and burrata ravioli, and I love burrata. It's just so yummy. The mozzarella cheese stuffed with like a sweet, well, it doesn't have to be sweet. It could be savory also, but some kind of like fresh cream in the center. Oh, it's so good. So I was glad to find this, and this will just be a quick easy pasta night we'll have it with some spaghetti sauce maybe we'll have this with the artichoke and that'll just be a quick dinner but double stuffed bicolor pasta with tomato and burrata cheese fillings i do get two just because like i said our family size so i went ahead and picked those up got some more bananas always like to have bananas on hand also two gallons of milk so i'm not going to like a regular grocery store this week i just didn't need i wasn't like out of a whole lot of stuff so other than milk <laughs> so went ahead and got two of those that'll get us through to the next um week and then oh my gosh rose is going to be so excited because for as long as i can remember every time i say i'm going to trader joe's she says, look for the chocolate covered banana slices. And this is the first time I have ever found them. So I got two packages of the Trader Joe's Gone Bananas dark chocolate covered banana slices. And then I saw that they had strawberry too. So I got two packages. They are pretty small, 5.3 ounce. I got two packages of this, the dark chocolate covered strawberry pieces. So the kids will be excited, mainly Rose for that. All right, here's the beer bread I was talking about. Got the Trader Joe's beer bread mix. I thought this would go great on St. Patrick's Day with our um, corned beef and cabbage. And then of course with the cheese dip, that's gonna be super yummy. So I went ahead and got that. And then I don't really like, this is the first time I've really gone through their frozen section, like their ice cream and stuff. So I got the ice cream for Pearl, I found those. And then I saw these and I thought Rose, maybe Bryce, I don't know but Rose loves mint ice cream, and these are 12 mini mint ice cream mouthfuls. So it looks like a little Oreo, right? With the mint ice cream in the middle. So just 12 little mini sandwiches or ice cream sandwiches in there. Okay, I already went over the milk. Needed some seasoning, needed our my favorite seasoning, actually the 21 Seasoning Salute. I use this on a lot of stuff, uh, mainly anytime I'm doing any kind of sheet pan meal, this is what I sprinkle all over just because it has everything in here, <laughs> all the yummy flavors. So I am out of it, needed to get another one. And then this was new and Mark and Pearl is starting to really like Sriracha also, but this is a Sriracha sprinkle seasoning blend. So I went ahead and picked that up for them to try. All right, Pearl and I love figs and we have a hard time finding them. The only place I can find them, I even looked at Trader Joe's and they weren't there. I need to look up like when they're in season because I feel like I just find them randomly. But no figs, I did see this fig butter. So I thought we would give this a try on some toast or a bagel, whatever. I thought that would be good. So I picked up the fig butter. All right, I love these breadsticks. They're super yummy. So I got a package of those, again, just to go with any kind of pasta night, garlic and cheese breadsticks or soup. I don't have soup on the menu just because it's been so warm, but these are great with soup or on the side with a pasta. All right, we got some grapes. I just, I just picked up, like I said, I'm not really out of a whole bunch, but as far as produce, I just picked up a couple things that I know the kids would enjoy. So I got this like duo pack. It's got red and green seedless grapes in there. And then I did go ahead and get a package of kiwi. Bryce and Pearl really enjoyed all that whole container of kiwi I got from Sam's, right? Yeah, Sam's uh, several weeks ago. <laughs> so I went ahead and picked up some more and then last but not least i love like the cinnamon gummies where they're slightly spicy but not quite you know so i did and so does my mom so i got two packages of these cinna dragons i have picked these up before and they're super delicious and i'm just going to tuck these away because we are going to be with my parents on our little fishing um, weekend getaway and that is everything that i picked up from trader joe's this go around i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give 
give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And before I say bye, I did wanna go ahead and just say because I feel like it, come, it comes and goes, but I'm getting a lot of messages, not only over on Instagram, but some comments here on YouTube also asking about Kira. And yes, she is fine. She's good. Her last video, she said she would post when she can, and she just hasn't been able to. So she is still good, just working full time, and has not been able to share with you guys. So I, I don't know her plans or anything like that. I know all of you guys know, or most of you know that we're really good friends. I went shopping with her today, but I, I don't know her plans for YouTube or social media. No idea. I just know that she's doing good, working a full-time job outside the home, like over full-time. She works a lot and she'll post when she can, which is like the last video I think she shared. She said that she would post when she can. And even though it's been a while, she just, she hasn't been able to do that. So I just wanted to give that little bit of update. She's good, her family's good, all the things. They have several summer plans also, but other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.